With three golden retriever dogs as important members of the family, the challenge of conceiving the golden house was to ensure that amidst the intended construction area, there were still quality open spaces for the circulation and interaction among them. The program is established on two levels. The main entrance and garage are under an extensive five meter cantilevered balcony. As a backdrop, a panel with decorated ceramics adds a more playful aesthetic. The access is guided by a yellow epoxy sidewalk that traverses the entire house longitudinally, defining the flow to all the ground floor spaces. Located in the countryside of Sao Paulo in the city of Tatuí, the house occupies a naturally flat 600 square meters plot of land. The layout aimed to capture the best sunlight and privacy relationship with neighbors. Thus, in an L-shape, the house surrounds its leisure area positioned at the front of the plot, taking advantage of the street width as a more interesting setback. Upon entering, a volume of wooden stones surrounds and organizes the gourmet area, integrating it into the whole. The facade is composed of an inclined wall serving as a guardrail for a metal staircase. This external vertical circulation transitions from the leisure area to a large sun deck that rests as a cover over the social area. It can also be accessed directly from the bedroom balcony, providing a 360 degree circulation flow throughout the house. The upper floor has a more sober solid volumetry, a white box surrounding a shrimp style window frame that visually unifies the bedroom openings. Like a large backyard, it's the favorite spot for children and dogs.
At the back, in the intimate corridor, Kobagos puncture the facade, controlling the afternoon sunlight incidents while allowing views and light to permeate through its voids.